Hello everyone, hope your day is going well. My name is Christos Pires and I am a Microsoft Dynamics Nav Consultant. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create user permissions by recording permissions automatically with Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2016. If the default permission sets that are coming with Microsoft Dynamics Nav are not sufficient or not appropriate for your organization, then you can create new permission sets. Today I'm presenting a new feature in Nav 2016, which is a recording process. There are two approaches on how to do it. Delete all permission sets and create new ones based on user jobs or processes, or find the pre-built permission sets and match with the user roles and departments. Depending on the project management methodology you are using, I personally recommend Microsoft Dynamics Sure Step, and supposedly you are in the analysis phase, collaborate with the key users and complete the following. Job instructions by department, user permissions by department. You can download the files I personally use to do this task. Feel free to adjust according to your needs. Open your Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2016 Windows client and search for the permission sets page. Click on it. Delete all the permission sets except the following. Foundation, Super, Super Data and Super Navipane. Create a new permission set based on the user's job description. Click OK and then refresh. Click on the Permissions button at the top, go to the Actions tab and hit the Start button. The following warning will pop up. As you can see, it is strongly suggested you reopen the company so to clear the cache. Click No to reopen the company and come back to this stage again. Click yes to the permissions recording warning to start recording and minimize the page. Based on my scenario, go to the financial management menu, general ledger and open the chart of accounts page. By opening the chart of accounts you gain the read permission. Click on the new button at the top so to create a new GL account. Start typing so to gain the insert permission. Tab away and then edit a field so to gain the modify permission and finally delete the record so to gain the delete permission. After completing this exercise, go back to the recording page and click on the stop button. The following warning will pop up. Do you want to add the recorded permission? Click yes. Another nice feature on the permission page is the ability to add read permissions to all related tables. Now you need to assign the permission sets to users. 
click on the permissions set by user button and simply check the permission sets that should be grant, grant, granted to the individual users. As simple as that. In the next scenario, we would like to create permission sets for salespersons so they can be in a position to create and post sales orders. As you can see, I have a group of three users, so I will now utilize the user by user group feature. Now visit the user by user group page and connect those users with the salespersons group. Create a new permission set for the create and post sales orders job. Start the recording process and find the sales order page so to create, edit, delete, have in mind here header and, header and lines and then finally post it. At the end of the day, go to the user permissions by user group and connect the salesperson's permission set with the salesperson's user group.